Okay, guys, you want to know how to make a swimmer? Multiplayer compatible? Let's go. Alright guys, so once you're in your base plate, we're going to go to replicate storage, and we're going to go to punch event, and I'm going to duplicate this remote event, I'm going to call it debound true, okay? And then we're going to duplicate it again, and we're going to do debounce false, okay? And then we're just going to go into punch server, and we're going to paste the new code from the comments in, okay? It's updated, so it has the events, and it will make it so two players can punch at once, okay? So now we can move punch server into server script server and let's open a punch server and have punch local open so we can go to punch server and we can copy these two variables okay and now let's make another variable in here called local debounce okay equals true all right and now we could do debounce false dot on client event connect function and we could do debounce equals false we could copy this and paste it down here and we could do debounce true dot on client event debounce equals true and then we could go into script.parent.activated and we could do if debounce then and paste this in and there we go so now the next thing we want to fix in our game is go into the shop we're going to move proximity prompt into the the cube okay and let's just play the game and we're going to check for any errors and there we go we see it, there's an error right here so we're going to go into the script called go into shop so let's search it in the explorer go into shop right here and we're just going to change it so instead of door we're also going to do another wait for child for the cube so now we can let's press play and we should be able to access the shop let's go let's check it out yep and now we can access the shop like normal okay so that's how you make your game multiplayer compatible and that's it for this tutorial bye